Okay guys, um, basically this is a video I wanted to do for such a long time. I mean, you have no idea. I've kind of been sitting on this video. Well, I haven't been sitting on it. I haven't been able to do it ever really. So now I actually have got the opportunity to go ahead and uh, have a little bit of a mess about and see if I can get it to work. Now, this video is about emulating DOS um, emulating the DOS uh, PC on the Amiga. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can use a program called PC Task. Now this is an old program. I think it was originally like freeware and then the guy um, uh, developed it more and then he released it as a uh, paid for program. But um, over the last couple of years, or a couple of years ago rather, he released it for free, which is uh, brilliant. So as of now, it's up to uh, PC Task is up to version 4.4, and it's free. Now PC Task is a software-based um, emulator which emulates the old DOS PCs and it can uh, do from the 886 all the way up to I think the 486 I know it can do the 386 but I think it can do the 486 I'm not 100% on that now obviously with emulating um, with any software emulator there's obviously a few things you need to consider. Obviously the host um, system that you're going to be using this, uh, the emulator on. Obviously you have to con take into consideration has it got the grunt, has it got the processing power and speed to even with a really decent emulator run the, run the program and emulate the system that you're trying to uh, emulate. Um, Obviously the other considerations is speed as well and stability um, but if you, if the host uh, system is like really uh, powerful you know then sometimes it can just be down to just how well the how good the emulator is basically um, so with um, PC task um, because it's a software based emulator there's a few things you have to take into into account first thing is just how powerful your uh, Amiga is now as of version 4.4 the system requirements for you to run it is you have to have an O20 Motorola uh, chip so you're looking at the A1200 at least uh, you know in its stock form and you have to have at least uh, 60 megabytes of extra RAM fast RAM so that's something you need to take into consideration now I'm um, obviously I'm not sure how well the emulator works on each you know um, iteration of the um, the old DOS PCs because obviously you're going up from the 86 all the way up to the 486 and I'm not sure just how good the emulation is uh, for each one um, for each iteration of the the Intel uh, you know uh, DOS PCs so it's really you know just stick it on your system have a play about and see how good it is again you can have you need to look at speed and reliability and stability really. Now the biggest factor in getting a lot of these old DOS um, these old Intel you know um, DOS PCs to run with each you know variant is you have to think about how beefed up because a lot of it is just how beefed up your Amiga is. Uh, so to do like stuff like the the Intel 386 um, you're going to need something like a, an accelerator card with an 060 chip running at um, 
50 megahertz and at least 13 megabytes of RAM with a MAPS coprocessor in there and if you've got an expanded 1200 or you've got um, one of the big box Amigas like the 2000, 3000, 4000 then obviously if you've got video cards and graphics cards in there which the emulator does support I'd like to add then you know you're going to get the best out of it you can have you know the, the uh, various different um, PCs that you're trying to emulate they're going to run better they're going to run smoother faster so a lot of it is really at least with PC task it's how beefed up your Amiga is I'd say you know the more you got in it in terms of graphics cards video cards you know accelerator cards RAM extra RAM the better you're gonna do with it and you're really gonna be able to uh, emulate those later you know um, PCs like the 386 486 and whatnot I have actually seen screens of um, a dem like uh, the demo version of Tomb Raider running with PC task on her obviously a souped up um, Amiga uh, so that was pretty that was something to see and um, obviously the PC task has got support for uh, CD-ROM based um, stuff and obviously disk based stuff of course so I haven't used that program yet so it, it's worth it's worth checking out there is other um, DOS based PC emulators for the Amiga but PC task is it's kind of considered the best and it's freeware now so there you go and if you've got a souped up Amiga anyway then it might be one you want to mess about with now I'm actually lucky that I've got this. This is the A2088 XT and this is a hardware based 8088 Intel 8088 DOS PC emulator hardware emulator. This is called a bridge board and basically it emulates the um, 8088 PC um, through hardware basically so I don't have to worry about um, reliability uh, stability or speed because it's all done through the hardware all done on this board so the the, the software that I use on my Mika with this it's just acting like the piggy in the middle between me or the the game or program that I'm trying to run and this board. All the all the power, all the emulation is done through this board, through the hardware. And that just takes all the kind of um force out of it really. Because again with um software emulation Again, it's all about how beefed up your Amiga is and which um, DOS PC you're trying to emulate, really. So, but with this, I know it's an 8088 emulator, hardware emulator, so I don't have to worry about like you know speed and everything. So I've had this for a long time and I've never been able to use it, and that's been pretty gutting, really. Um, I'm. This is a Zorro 2 expansion board for, well, for the big box Amigas, but I use it in my Amiga 2000, obviously. And I'm really excited to, um, you know, have something like this, really. I've had it ever since I've had my Amiga 2000. Now this has actually got the Intel 8088 uh, processor on the board, and I've think this is it here and um, up here it says 8088 and then there you've got Intel so I'm pretty sure that's it. Now another thing with this board and I've read online that you can actually this is a board you can actually lift off um, this uh, chip rather is actually something you can lift up and replace much like the kickstart ROMs in the Amiga um, so 
I'm sure I've read somewhere that I can actually stick something like um you know the next um the next one up from the eighty eighty eight whatever that may be I should have written it down really to emanate that uh p c um i'm not I'm not sure how far up the chain I can go by doing that, but I've heard that I can do that, and I've heard that there's also like hardware and mods that I can do with this board, but um, you'd have to research the internet to find that information out. Now one of the reasons why I haven't been able to mess with this board is I have actually got the software for this board to run it. Oh that's another thing, I've actually downloaded the software recently for this board as well. Um, unfortunately I couldn't, I couldn't read the manual. I've, I've looked at the manual for this um, as a PDF document um, but I didn't think it was worth downloading it because it's all in German so I can't read German so basically when I have a mess about with this I'm going to have to just figure it out because uh, yeah, it's a real shame there wasn't an English version of the manual really but yeah this actually these boards actually or this specific board actually um, was shipped when you bought it with either a 330k um, 5.25 inch um, floppy disk drive or a, I think it was a 720k um, 5.25 inch disk drive I've actually got, I'm, well I'm assuming that what I've got is the 330k because um, I'm assuming that's probably the most widely used one but unfortunately the reason why I haven't been never been able to mess about with this is of course it really kind of rusted out it was broke it was filthy I looked inside and it was just absolutely full of dust and whatnot and I tried to clean it out and it just kind of it fell apart on me so it broke and I was never gonna buy some games and put it in there because it was just it was just terrible in there, it was so much dirt and grime. So I've been waiting to buy another kind of 5.25 inch uh, floppy disk drive and I actually had the opportunity the once to buy an um, 330k um, 5.25 inch floppy drive that actually been uh, taken out of a 8088 PC, uh, DOS based PC, and I didn't buy it because I didn't have the money, so I was a bit gutted about that. Now I tried to find a um, 330k based 5.25 inch floppy drive, and I haven't been able to find one. They're quite rare, or they at least they don't pop up on eBay too often. However, the really common drives you're able to get. Uh, these let's move this out of the way be very careful so this is a 5.25 <laughs> um, floppy drive but this is a 1.2 meg drive um, like I said I wasn't able to get a 330k or even this well actually I've never seen a 720 EK drive but there's always 1.2 meg, meg drives on there now I did look before I bought this to see whether if I had 330k discs would they run on a 1.2 meg drive or in a 1.2 meg drive and I think I'm, I'm alright with that now these drives are actually let's see if we can get this right there no I can't remember they are double density discs it's really weird because it's I think the 330k ones are something like um, no I can't remember I, I, I'll put a, 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 a thing in saying what they are but I know the 330k ones are a double density and these are double den density those those are double de density basically but the 330k ones, I don't want to say, I think single-sided, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that. And I think these are double-sided, double-density 
these 1.2 megawatt ones. Um, I probably should have written that down. Um, so from what I've read, I think I can use 330k discs in the 1.2 meg um, double sided double density drives, which is what this is, but I can't use a 1.2 meg uh, floppy disk in a 330k 5.25 inch floppy drive because it's single sided double density drive and you can go up the chain but you can't go down um but i did read somewhere uh, where you can actually format a 1.2 meg floppy disk to get to get a 330k drive to actually read it but then if you've got like a 1.2 meg game then obviously you're not going to want to format that so you can have problems anyway so anyway this is 1.2 meg drive and hopefully i should be all right playing this game so i bought this this would cost me about five there and it's bill and ted's excellent adventure now this as far as i know is like an adventure point and click adventure game and it's an 8088 based game and i'm not sure i'm assuming that these uh these are either 330 or 720k discs, so hopefully I should be alright playing them on here. So that's basically this video guys, of I'm going to try this emulator out and try this game out and really it's pot luck whether it works. I'm, I don't even know how to set it up, like I said I have got the uh, install disc. Actually, one of the programs I actually downloaded because I I downloaded the um, the actual s the software as well just to just as a backup just in case the uh, install disk didn't work. But that was actually another bit of software, and it's actually a mod, um, a software mod for the uh, this emulator, and actually it gives the whole thing a speed boost. So. I'm actually going to install that as well, so hopefully it should make it run better. So I don't actually know whether all this is going to work. I've never tried the board, obviously. This is a second-hand drive, and it's a 1.2 meg, not a 330k or 720k uh, drive. And I don't even know whether these discs work. So there's a lot of factors here that I just don't know whether it will work or not. So it's Pot luck, really. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it all in the Amiga. I'm going to have a play about of it, play about with it, and uh, later on, maybe in a week or later on during the week, I'll do an update and let you guys know how I got on with it and if it worked, if it didn't work. If it works, then I'll be um, showing the. Um, showing the um you know the game running and everything so fingers crossed guys this is all gonna work